Hey everybody, it's TR back with another RV how-to and today I'm putting additional lighting in my cabinets. Yep, so I'm going to be putting some additional lights in the cabinets today. Um, I've started to notice the older I've gotten. Uh, the harder it is to see things in the cabinet and uh, they're kind of dark and this one right here uh, is kind of deep and so you don't get a lot of light from the front like these are not too bad but I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these lights up in the cabinets this really isn't specific to RV you could just as easily do this at home <laughs> so in addition to having a problem with Costco um, I also like IKEA I think they make some pretty decent stuff and in fact if you're looking for smaller sorts of things uh, that work in smaller spaces like RVs it's a great place to go and get ideas and buy stuff. But I have a set of these that I've already installed. Oh gosh, this has been a year, year and a half ago now. Back in a cabinet in the bedroom here. And because it was deep and dark and I didn't want to have to keep turning the room light on to be able to see in the cabinet. So uh, I got these little LEDs. They're pucks. You know, they're what, maybe, I don't know, three eighths of an inch thick. They run on 110 power. So you've got this, uh, what we affectionately call a wall wart. Uh, power brick if you will and I'm lucky because in my upper cabinets and this one right here and I'll show you here in just a second there's a plug-in in the wall to provide power to the microwave I'm gonna take advantage of that and I'm gonna run these this spaghetti of power cables uh, over there it has a switch on it and at some point I'm gonna put uh, door open switches on this thing the first thing I gotta do is make some room so I can work up there So one of the first things that I need to do is I need to drill through this wall so I get into this cabinet. These are pretty thin and you can see there's other cables up there. I've got a speaker cable that I don't know if you can see that speaker right there. Uh, that's for my surround sound. And then I also have coax cable that goes up to my cellular antenna. So it's easy enough to drill through the wall, but I need to uh, figure out just how big a drill bit I need. And I'm thinking a 3 8 ought to do it. And it looks like 3 8 might be small. So I might be having to go pick up a different drill bit. Come out of there. Yeah, so that's way too small. I'm probably going to have to go up to a half inch. So excuse me while I go get a bigger drill bit. So clear this out. All right, so I went and got a half inch drill bit. And that's still going to be a little small. But I think if I just ream the hole out a little bit with the bit itself, once I drill through, we'll be okay. So I'm just going to do that. All clean. So I've been sitting here trying to sort out where I'm going to put these lights. And uh, I think I got it pretty well figured out. Um, so I think I'll probably mount it on... Uh, this side wall here. So let's see if I can if I can get this to come out of here. Oh, it needs to go down just a bit further. Let's see. We need something else here. So it's pretty warm up here on the ceiling. <laughs> you can see I'm sweating. Um, I'm working inside today because it's thunder showery. And the last time I looked, the humidity was a 57%, which is pretty high for uh, Tucson. Uh, it's not technically uh, monsoon season, but uh, we sure have had a lot of rain the last couple days. That one's done. So I'm going to put everything away so I can make room to get all the other stuff out of the cabinets that I need to make room to make that work. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I need to poke a little hole through this shelf for a power wire for that light I just put in. And it's a pretty small hole. So uh, let's see what we can do about that. Just about done. All I have to do is just uh, finish zip tying up uh, all these loose wires. So that was really a pretty easy project, <laughs> despite my sweat. It's just because it's so uh, humid, and it's probably 80 degrees in here now. 
but I think humidity is pretty close to 60 percent so that's that's pretty sweaty but we're done uh, it was giving me a good chance to clean out the cabinets too because I've been wanting to do that but I think that'll have to wrap it up for this project hey thanks for watching I do appreciate it I hope you found value in it and if you did be sure and give me that thumbs up those are always helpful love interacting with you so if you have questions or comments uh, make them below I get back to you as soon as I possibly can and then be sure and subscribe because I got a lot of great RV how-to videos as well as travel vlogging and, uh, well, pretty much just whatever crosses my mind. But for now, it's time to go. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Until we get together again, peace.